Hey folks, welcome to the care and maintenance of your BioBlaster 40K Vertical Ozone Tornado. This machine is a real beast. We call it the Warthog on my mold remediation crews because it's so squat, powerful, and effective. But uh, you know, occasionally uh, all ozone generators are going to need the plates cleaned. It used to, we used to recommend every 250 hours. Now that we put filters on these models, we typically ask that you do it around every, I'll say 400 hours. And it's real simple to do. The tools that you need to clean your plates are simple cotton swabs or Q-tips and some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I've got the 91% here, 70% will work just as well. And this is the rip roaring rock and ozone generator. This makes massive ozone. And you know, we've in our uh, for the last two years we've installed the the filters on these uh, machines. These are very easy to change. You just remove these uh, few clips right here, four clips, and you can pull out the new filter, remove the filter ring, pop the new filter in, and change that out. But if you need to clean the actual plates themselves, this is a very quick procedure. All you need is a, a small drill. Or a screwdriver. I'd like to do it fast, I'm impatient. And Voila, now you've got access to the inside of the cells. And all you're going to do is you're going to take a Q-tip and see what happens with these machines is the surface of these plates are creating a 10,000 volt DC arc. And 10,000 volts, folks, is extremely high voltage. So what happens is dirt, dust, very fine particles of dust that get sucked into the machine Eventually, over time, when they hit that 10,000 volt discharge, they're going to carbonize and turn directly to carbon or ash. And so, on the surface of the plates, you can get this film, and that film will interfere with oxygen that is coming um, up through the machine, going across the discharge to make the ozone, to turn that O2 into O3. And so, to clean it, it's real simple. You just take your cotton swab, you wipe the surface of the plates, and it's that simple. That's how long it takes to take to clean one cell. You just reach, simply reach in and do it for each of the other ones. And you're cleaning off all of that carbon discharge. Now, most of my machines are a little easier to get to. This one's still possible with a simple Q-tip. I do have some customers that like to use the longer uh, wooden tip swabs that they sell at Walgreens, but uh, I'm doing it just fine here with this simple Q-tip. And you just need to swab it across the surface of each plate. And that's it. That's as long as it takes. It's so simple, so quick, so easy. Your five-year-old can do it. And when you're done, you just put your screen back on. and you're back in business. That's it, service done, less than five minutes. You only need to do this about every, again, 400 hours. Depending on the dirtiness of your job sites, you may need to change these filters occasionally. Changing the filters is also extremely simple. 
it's just as simple as backing these clips off, turning them around. And then you can pull off your filter container, change the filter, and then put it back. In this case, this is a brand new filter, so I'm not going to go through that whole project process. Once you put your clips back in the right direction, put them back in. And that's it. You're back in business. Talk about care and maintenance being a breeze. It's a real breeze. It's so simple, so fast, and so easy to keep your machine running at incredibly high output levels. And when you're ready to blast away again, bam, you get your button. And you're filling that room with convection currents of ozone gas. You know, don't take my word for it. Invest in one for your business today. The BioBlaster Vertical Ozone Tornado is a beast and care and maintenance is a breeze.